if the wires are connected properly to the terminals and there is no loose connections there the next step is to determine if the breaker is tripping because of the mechanical or electrical component failure we can check the temperature of the motor body and the gearbox it will give us some idea what's the wrong going on with the system for this we will open the back cover of the motor if you try to rotate the motor shaft by grabbing the motor fan and you find really difficult to move the motor shaft or it is not moving at all this means that there is something wrong with the mechanical components of the system so first of all we will observe the whole conveyor system sometimes something stuck inside the conveyor belt or broken bearings in the system can cause the motor to get overloaded and cause the tripping of the breaker once we inspect the belt system we will check the gearbox and open its oil plug and check the oil level in the gearbox lack of lubrication oil in the gearbox will cause the high friction among the gears inside the gearbox eventually it can worn out the gears damaged gearbox is one of the reasons for the motor overloading in this case we have to replace the gearbox